and uh, once again thank you ma'am for teaching me english and uh, ma'am parnel or cheru pani kuda kodutta lesson poyathu or velliya foodi nu kuda ana paranjathu so my advice to you is that i mean rachel i'm sorry elizabeth is a fantastic cook is what rani aunty told me i don't know how true that is uh, but anyway praveen download swiggy zomato and all of that and keep if you don't like our food you still have to smile and have it but please please download that and keep so now we have the man of the moment our star of the day i request dear dr praveen to please speak a few words good evening everybody am i loud and audible to everybody can you hear me okay first of all i feel empathy for all the dear caught in headlights all over the world because from up here the flood light the, the flood lights are staring at me in the eyes the echo is deafening so i'm hoping you can hear me well and i can see you well as well uh i've used many introductions in my life but today for the first ever time i have the pleasure of introducing myself as liz's husband Liz and I first spoke to each other last year in December. I live in Canada, she lives in India. In fact, before this month, we had only met twice. The first time in February in Toronto and the second time in June in Cochin. That was the short version of our story. My wife will give you the long version if you ask her. Let me tell you how my eyes see my wife. Isn't she the most gorgeous bride ever? Where's my affirmation? Give her a round of applause. You look stunning, sweetheart. Liz is beautiful inside and outside. I love everything about my wife. But there are three things about her that make my heart warm. The first thing is Liz is profoundly empathetic. She will see what no one else she sees. She'll put herself in your shoes and lift your spirits up. Another incredible thing about her is how she sees the good in you even when it when it appears as if there is none. She will find that lone shining pearl in a sea of darkness and fight for you even if the whole world has turned against you. The third thing that about her that stands out is her devotion. Her devotion to everything in life. Family, friends, work, goals, anything she pursues any endeavor she pursues her devotion is inspiring and it fuels my own zeal in the run up to this event i was asked by so many pravin are you nervous excited well honestly the sentiment i felt most strongly was gratitude gratitude to all those who made this day possible A marriage is a milestone in one's life. I am here because so many have worked hard, and I would like to take the next few minutes to honor those people. My family. In the cult classic film Shole, there is a line, "Mere paas maa hai." At first, I thought, "Sabke paas maa hai. What's the big deal?" much older today i realize how true that statement is my dearest amma is my greatest strength my best friend and my moral compass i fear nothing because she stands behind me like an indomitable rock my ma is special because of her i am Boys idolize their fathers. Sons walk in the shadows of their fathers. 
My father's unwavering support has given me the confidence and courage to take on adventures in life that simply would not have been possible without him. Because of him, I am. Brothers treasure their sisters. My dear sister Anisha is my most valuable treasure. I'm a formidable foe myself in any arena, but my sister is my secret weapon. She has made me a better man. Also, she has been among the organizers in chief for our wedding and engagement, taking on responsibilities from designing my outfits, choreographing dances, calming everybody's nerves, to planning events, logistics, and accommodations. Because of her, I am. Liz's family, for my Canadian friends, Indian, in Indian culture, marriages are a union of two families. I feel immensely fortunate to be marrying into Liz's beautiful family. Mummy sitting right here is my dear friend. I have the same trust and ease with her that I have with my own mother. She is the wind behind the sails for her family, and now her wind shall be behind my sails too. Where's Daddy? Daddy is the consummate family man doting father and model husband. His humor will leave you in splits, so make sure you catch him at the end of this program to hear a few of his jokes. I also feel very lucky to have two more sisters in Tanya and uh, Sonia, who have made me feel at home from day one. And Jacob, uh, wherever you are, <laughs> Thank you for being kind and gracious always. Dalian, Daniel and Ava, the two of you are adorable little munchkins and I can't wait to be your favorite uncle. To my extended family, Apachan, Achachan, Amai, Velipapa, Velima, Jimmy, Timmy, Ronnie, Ria, Eliza, Richard, Nima and Leah, from my mother's side, thank you for everything. Uncle Josie, Uncle John, Auntie Latika, Auntie Leela, and Pinky from my father's side, thank you for everything. For a moment, if you would draw your attention to my grandfather, my dear Apachin, sitting right there, the man is 89 years old, and he's here. What a trooper. All my hobbies, motorcycling, bodybuilding, guns and hunting, photography come from him. I also want to take a moment to thank my beloved late grandmothers, maternal and paternal, who are not here with us today, but are hopefully watching us from far away. To my friends who have come from all over India, and, from, and all the way from Canada for being with me in both fair and foul weather, thank you. Some of us share 26 year friendships. Some of us have been friends for just over two years. Each one of you is precious to me and your presence here means the world to me. To my teachers, who have made me who I am today, right from kindergarten to orthopedics, thank you for everything. You have left an indelible mark on my mind, and I shall be your student forever. To Liz's friends, who have been such wonderful anchors to her all these years, and for making me that too, thank you. To my mother's friends in her prayer group who have been praying for us before even having met us, thank you. To all the guests here 
who've come to celebrate our special day with us, thank you. And last but not the least, a big round of applause and thank you for uh, Rainmaker Wedding Planners, Magic Motion Media, the Taj Malabar, uh, the Grand Hyatt Kochi for putting together a Herculean effort in making our engagement and wedding special. Someone once said, a perfect marriage is two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. Liz and I are quite different as individuals. We have our own likes and dislikes. But where it matters, we're the same. We complement each other perfectly. I love you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Thank you so much.